and welcome back to the Budget Gamer channel where we've got your indie games covered and today we're going to be looking at what's probably the pinnacle of all platformers. Now I'm obviously not comparing it to Metroidvanias because as you know those are very different things but as far as platformers go, Gunman Clive has just about everything in spades. As a 2D side-scrolling platformer released for the 3DS in 2012, Gunman Clive gained a pretty understandable fan following before it made its way to the Switch, appearing as the Gunman Clive HD Collection. The basic premise and story for the game is fairly vanilla, there's a damsel in distress and you're trying to save her. However, it's not the story that gains fan attention so much as the unique art style. Gunman Clive, the original game, being purely beige with a few splashes of color here and there, with Gunman Clive 2 being a rich addition to the series with its use of powerful colors. However, its unique color palettes and exemplary sketchbook art style aren't the only things that stand out about the Gunman Clive games. These two games together are pretty much the essence of what a platformer is and or should be, and they harken back almost explicitly to the earliest platformers such as Donkey Kong and Mega Man. The most simple jump and shooting gameplay combined with these explicitly gorgeous graphics and a very tight level design make for a really unique experience. Each of the levels in Gunman Clive are very simple and very short and can be completed in only a few seconds. However, again, it's the simplicity of the jump and shoot mechanic which actually can prove daunting in certain situations. As a player, you'll have to learn to explore this wild west and exceedingly progressive scenario, only being able to use jumping and shooting, and you'll have to learn how to encounter each new boss and discover how to beat it with only this simple mechanic. And while there are weapon up upgrades that'll eventually help you rescue your damsel in distress, Gunman Clive 2 raises the bar not only in visuals but in gameplay. Picking up pretty much where the difficulty setting of the original game left off, you'll be baptized directly into a gigantic mechanical boss fight as soon as you start playing Gunman Clive 2. And the unique platforming environments encountered in Gunman Clive get more and more unique as you play your way through Gunman Clive 2. Moving from a run and gun exploration of the Wild West, to running from and gunning down dinosaurs, to aerial chase scenes in Da Vinci-esque flying machines. And if that were weren't enough to whet your appetite to get into this little platformer, there are unique unlockable characters in each of the new games. However, if you already were a fan of the Gunman Clive series, the new release on the Switch doesn't really bring anything new to the table, except for a $3.99 price tag for both games. So while existing fans of the genre might not be too impressed with its new release on the Switch, people who haven't actually gotten a chance to play the games yet will have a really good starting spot for their introduction. As platformers go, it's solid and somehow in its basic simplicity, it's really innovative. It's controls are tight and its audio quality is just as impressive as its visuals. And as a platformer, it's just as rich as it is simple, and it's definitely a modern icon of an earlier classic gaming era. So if you were looking for a new platformer for your collection, I would definitely suggest you take a look at Gunman Clive 1 and 2 the HD collection. But anyway, that does about wrap up the review of Gunman Clive the HD collection for Nintendo Switch. So if you enjoyed the review or found it helpful, feel free to throw me a like or a comment to show your support, and don't forget to click that little bell when you subscribe to stay updated with the latest content. There are new and unique indies coming out literally every day. Days, there's always going to be something new to find right here. But if you want to know what reviews are coming up next, you can follow us on Twitter. And if you want to help me make these reviews and support the channel, check out our Patreon page. But anyway, this has been Budget Gamer, so as always, thanks for watching.